Hello. Today is Saturday, March 13th, 2021 at 6.15 a.m. Um, so, I volunteered to, um, wow. I volunteered yesterday because there was so many people, well, at least about four people, asked me to take over their shifts for today and they said the new people weren't supposed to work until next week but i figured you know if i had a little more work in you know that would be a little more money for me you know to save towards hopefully permanent housing but um Last night, I tried to go to sleep at about 9 or 10 o'clock, and then they vibrated me so violently that, um, I, I mean, you know how they talk about, like, with, with, um, bass music that they pound through every cell in your body, like, the bass, and so... They vibrated my organs so bad last night. It was unbearable. And last night, I think I mentioned, yeah, last night was the first night in a long time that they caused me forced urination and forced diarrhea. And then I had forced urination this morning, you know, that I couldn't even make it to the normal potty spot. Um, and had to go pee somewhere else. And, um, good thing nobody saw me. But, um, I'm, I feel robbed because, um, last night, I don't, I'm not going to say I had absolutely no sleep, but I had mostly no sleep so here they go again with the sleep deprivation um that they caused me to vibrating and then i um talked to another targeted person on the phone for about two and a half hours or wait a minute about two or two and a half hours yeah about two and a half hours and then um I tried to go back to sleep and still the vibrating. I couldn't sleep. And then I had to deal with lots of lots of lots of people criminally, illegally and undeservingly driving by with um loud vehicles with loud bass showing off cuz it's the weekend. They do this every weekend, Friday and Saturday, and they kind of mellow down a little bit on Sunday. <clears throat> and then Monday through Wednesday, the middle of the night, it's usually more quiet. So, and that's how it was when I had my own place. It was usually, like, I didn't even get the vibrating much on Monday through Wednesday night. But it was mainly Thursday through Sunday night I got the vibrating. I'm sitting here wondering, like, <clears throat> well, even if I, um... Even if I didn't have to work today, well, I chose to work today. But even if I didn't work today, that looks like a gang's, no. But, um, so even if I didn't, um, have to deal, you know, work today, my, by me being out on the streets, I still wouldn't be able to sleep anywhere due to my certain certain schedule now but living on the streets you know it's like hold up due to my certain schedule now you know with no more buses
you know, with, with no more bus, you know, no more riding the bus. And I guess it's less harassment for me, but more money I got to spend. And um, if my job required driving, I couldn't do it because um, of being sleep deprived. And But if I was in the hotel room and no work today, then, you know, I could have got or, or if I had a permanent place, look at the police. Um, and then it's usually somebody either right behind or right in front of the police with the funny headlights or taillights. Excuse me. So, it's like, forgive me for seeming off and, um, distracted. So, on a morning like this morning, I have to go and eat what I don't feel like eating, like what I don't want to eat for breakfast in order to get to charge my phone. And But the advantage is the place opens up earlier than, um, it, it, it opens up earlier than other places, but I have to force myself to stay awake and have no place to go sleep. Um, I don't even know if I should just go to the park, the other park, because, oh, man. And, and it's like I can feel my heart tugging at me. I can feel my heart tugging at me. Um, I don't even know if I should just... Because one problem, if I go to the park, me going to the park, um, the problem is, you know, I have to deal with being attacked by insects and stuff. I'm going to go the other way. So, today I don't want to, and tomorrow either. You know, I'm not going to want to eat at, um, I'm not going to want to eat at the, um, you know, at work, even though it's 50% off, <clears throat> but, you know, it's like concession food at, at work would be like, if you get, yeah, these chicken bites plus um, ice cream sandwich, that's, I mean, and fries, that's a whole $10.75 or something, or uh, oh, like almost $11 or something, but then, and the ice cream sandwich is like $3, so they have nothing but junk there, but I need healthy food. In order so that if I can stand longer, my feet won't hurt. <clears throat> you know, so. I even been praying about a permanent place. Uh, I mean, guess what? This week, there's nobody with the position called dedicated cleaner. But they scheduled me for next week with dedicated cleaner. I thought it was 32, but I'm surprised they give me a decent amount of hours, but the um manager, he he like he promised me more money than everybody else like he promised me $9.50 in the interview <clears throat> per hour plus he promised me he he told me that you know, I can make a lot of money. 400 a week ain't a lot of money. But um no, I don't even think it, I, it would be 400 a week. But that's a decent amount of hours for a new person, you know. So, me working today, hopefully I can have six more hours. So, that's about 50-something more dollars, I guess. 
but most mostly everybody works part time. But he told me if I want to work full time, you know, he made it like I can work as much as I want. And it's like, well, since I'm homeless and don't have a life, you know, it keep me from being banned from everywhere. But it's like hard, be hard to explain due to this targeting, you know, me having some. And I didn't know that I was going to end up sleep deprived because. I mean, I guess I should expect it, you know, pretty much. But last night, at first, I was feeling like I thought I just knew I was going to get to sleep very well. That's how I was feeling, like I thought I was guaranteed to sleep good. And then the moment I start to fall asleep, it's like being assaulted so badly, unbearably with the vibrating, you know. And, and it made me think of, that um meme about oh daddy what do you do for a living oh i'm a gang stalker honey i um torture people electronically in hopes that they'll commit suicide it seemed like they were trying to do that to me you know but it's like i'm you know fighting to stay strong and you know some people tell me that i'm stronger than i realize or they they don't realize i mean that that, you know, um, people, you know, can't comprehend how am I staying strong, what I'm going through and stuff like that, you know. So, it's, it's very difficult to um, accept the idea of my twin sister and a former friend from Los Angeles, who I didn't even have to know David Jane, but you know they're not gonna put me in fear and scare me into into being quiet. Why they can run their mouths as much as they want, but I'm supposed to stay quiet. So it made me almost want to get frustrated and quit. Well, Stars 15K tried to tell me, oh yeah, I doubt she even has a job, and if she does, you know she'll get fired the first day and stuff like that, and she's a liability to the company. And they try to make like I'm too crazy to work too mentally slow and too crazy to work and then trying to talk about my college degree is meaningless and then stars 15k trying to talk about oh i used to hire and fire people and stuff like that you know and the stuff that they said just made me feel so down and so then my twin sister tried to say oh yeah because she'll um cuss somebody out she'll cuss the manager out the first day if they tell her to wear a mask and it's like wow i can't believe that my twin sister you know, is doing this, and it discouraged me, excuse me, and made me feel like just wanting to give up and quit the job, and then, um, because that other perp trying to say, oh yeah, beggars can't be choosers, she's going to have to wear a mask, because she said, she already said she hate wearing a mask, and so I figured with them saying, oh yeah, um, candy, you, you know, they say candy wearing a, um, I, I mean, by them trying to say that they don't believe I have a job, it's like they're trying to provoke me to reveal where I work at. It's none of, none of their damn business, you know, so they're trying to provoke me to reveal where I work at. And, you know, because of them is the reason why, I mean, I would love to tell my sister my supportive subscribers where where I work at, you know, <clears throat> but it's like that, like they think I owe it to them, they need to fuck off and mind their damn business, my twin sister doesn't want to act like a twin, so she should treat me like a stranger and mind her fucking business and keep her damn mouth shut, they can dox me and use my videos without my permission day in and day out, but, you know, they're quick to talk about, oh, Candy got my name in their mouth. Uh, uh, Candy got my name in her mouth. Or, But it's, they, it's okay for them to constantly do videos back to back, full of lies about me and getting like 12 thumbs up. I can't get their videos taken down, but they damn sure can get mine effortlessly taken down. You know, and that 144 K person, you know, doing back to back videos full of lies on me. And she lied and falsely accused me of scamming and stealing. And, and she falsely accused me of working for the DHS fusion centers and stuff like that. It's her. So I can't believe. I mean, 
So it's like, <clears throat> all this was bothering me. I had to talk about it. <clears throat> and then Brandy, my twin sister, did a video, talk, a follow-up video. When I talk about her being failure of a mother, she tried to talk about, she did a follow-up video talking about, oh, Candy wonders why I deserve kids and she doesn't. Well, why would you deserve any kids and you threw, you voluntarily threw your kids away? And so then, you know, she can bully me and think she's tough. But then when I um do a video trying to straighten out her lies and rumors, all of a sudden she having a meltdown and trying making threats to kill herself and stuff. So it's like everybody want me to shut up. They get frustrated with me. I have to sit here and be worried about losing subscribers and losing support, emotional support. I, I don't have much of any support or many really any many people to talk to and for me to like to listen to my problems and stuff like that while she she has a whole gang when she has nothing but lies and they're all ganging up on me and David Jane is acting out of character he used to be meek lonely humble and um, soft-spoken and shy and quiet and very just timid and scared. So I wonder, if they, did they microchip him or clone him? The fact that he, I see a whole different personality now. And David acting like he thinks he's tough shit. You know, he, he, and then it's like, he's considered mentally slow. But I have a bachelor's degree and he tried to talk about Candy's dumb as fuck. And Candy was talking about doing a video of me. And he tried to lie. And say that, oh, Candy keep, keeps her name, Candy keeps Brandy's name in her mouth. And I don't understand why Candy's always talking bad about her sister and stuff. And they say all kinds of other, more other stuff, you know, that's full of lies that, I mean, they have a license to talk about me and lie on me. And they try to bully and scare me. Like my own twin sister, like she hadn't done videos in a few days about me. And then yesterday, she did one of her follow-up videos to lie on me and falsely accuse me of scamming people because I said my stimulus check had not arrived yet. And I didn't ask for any money in that video either. So I did an update and said that my stimulus check is pending. So my twin sister falsely, like, like as if they're acting like as if I don't even deserve my stimulus check. And then they make, I mean, my twin sister is more overweight than me now. And they making false videos talking about how I'm eating deliciously and illegally and stuff like that. Like, like, as if it's a crime for me to eat. My own twin sister thinks it's a crime for me to eat. You know, and I don't mock and bully them or talk bad about them in my videos. I just state facts and document and report their harassment and abuse and what they're doing and everything. You know, other 